Hello, Adru. Uh, thanks again for your first submission. Um, I'll go over it step by step and provide all the feedback in this video. I'll start on the top left and I'll move from the bottom as well. So on the top for the roof, simply simply let's say just a more interesting or more or more aggressive shape. A redrawn one. Uh, Something like this, just make it look a little cooler, uh, some kind of profile, some kind of cool thing. It's not that important. But still, it'll make the entire design express better the look and feel of the book. The pillar, the pillar is to be located in between seats. That way, the person who's sitting here and is looking back uh, towards, the, towards the fish, uh, when you're fishing, doesn't have anything on their way. I did it over here as well, so you can see. So the support for the roof is on top of the on top of the seats. And moving forward, these seats are too low. The intention of these seats is for them to be actually really high, the rear facing one really high, so that you can so that you're in a higher position and you can see the ocean better, and the forward one really high so that you can see above everyone else and above and out to the boat. I have them out to the to the ocean in front. I have them set up. At, um, at 77 centimeters high or something like that. Around that number, it should be fine. Console, um, here, here's what I have in mind for the console. I'll share it with you here. Let me see. So this is the kind of calls, console that I had in mind. Uh, if you see the other side of this same console, it's compact, but it has space for everything. So you, it has two big screens. It has the switches. It has the radio. Has the the engine uh, controls the engine controls as well, um, so the it, it is, like I said it is compact but it is but it is very useful, uh, and I was thinking that inside the console we could we could set up we leave space for for batteries and for all for all electronics so that so that all the electronics are on the same are on the same place. I thought the console might be a good place to do that, but I'll accept recommendations on whatever other options you come to mind. Going forward, uh, these okay. This seat should be at least two meters long. Uh, the intention of the of the seats is that they people can also sleep there at night. So, if these seats are hundred uh, one meter and eighty centimeters long, and this is one meter and eighty centimeters long, one person can sleep here. One person can sleep here, and one and this uh, if this is two meters long, one person can sleep here as well. Please make longer, and I'll address that over here as well. And um, for the general profile of the boat, I sent you a picture of this boat, um, which not that one, this one. Uh, this is a Woolridge boats. It's their deep water series, water series boats. Um, I like the front, the big piece of glass facing towards the front. Front, and I like these side windows as well. I didn't draw them in my model. I didn't draw them because I'm, I wasn't sure how to draw that. Uh, but the intention is um, for it to be front facing, tilted forward. So like here, it's tilted forward and not tilted backward, like in the design. That'll make it look more, a little bit more aggressive as well. Same idea with the railing. If we make the railing tilt forward, following the line of the boat, and all the supports tilt a little bit forward. It'll look more aggressive and it'll look uh, nicer. Regarding the steps, steps. Okay, the reason for the steps is that so that so that you can fish all around the boat comfortably. So let me do this differently. Yeah. So if you see the steps are are long, they might be a little tall. Might be a little bit too tall, but they are long so that. If you are fishing, if you're fishing in the bow, you have a fish in the rod, uh, you can easily walk through the steps because they are big. Even if they're tall, they are big. They're, you can get your two feet in each step. So make them big and long. The way I did that is that the steps start right here at the edge of the cabin. You can do that too. You can make the st steps start at the edge of the cabin and make them big and as long as you can. So that it's so that each step is long and it's easy to step in, in each one. It did I didn't draw the railing, but the railing would have to go with the steps as well. 
uh, all around the world. Uh, let me see what else in this drawing. Okay, I am not familiar with this whole shape. Uh, I know you commented you commented some on on it, but if you could send me, I don't know, some documentation or some information on on this type of whole shape, I would appreciate it. I, I would love to learn about it. Uh, I haven't I haven't seen this kind of whole shape before. At least not from, and I'm not that experienced, but not from what I have read. So if you could provide some some comments on, or some ideas on this whole shape, I would appreciate. It. I think that's it for the for the side view. Let's go into the plan. Uh, back here, things look okay. Uh, yeah, these these are okay. We could if we can center them more in in the in the pontoon. If we can center them in the hole, that would be better. I think it would be a better use of space. Um, like I said, these seats should be one hundred and eighty centimeters long, so that someone can sleep there. We'll have the roof supports here, the console we've already discussed. This is, and this should be an entire seat from here to here. So almost two meters, or, or I was able to get two meters here for a seat so that one person can sleep there as well. We can, you can eliminate that. The, the refrigerator I had in mind was just, was inside the seat. It's like a refrigerated cooler rather than a, rather than a big refrigerator. Imagine a, a, a cooler box that is refrigerated. It's, it's, that's what I had in mind. Um, so the refrigeration would be inside the seat. Um, on this side, we can eliminate the oven. The seat would be, would be as, as long as possible. It would be shorter because the seat will make it to here because here we would go down into the hall. Like I showed you in the pictures and like I showed you in my other, in my other 3D model steps, the, 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 the bow deck goes all the way back here. So you can go down into the hall. That's how I drew it here. If you see um, the bow deck, the, the, the pilot house is kind of embedded into the bow deck and the bow deck comes all the way back here. So that when you go into, into the hall, there, there is enough space to do that. And then on the inside, this seat, uh, this is where you have the oven. There's no oven. You go down into the hall, and then this seat is empty underneath. As are the steps. It's empty so that so that there is space down there. And if we hide this, if we hide this one, you'll see you can you can come into the hall. You can come into the hall, and there is space back here for a toilet. You go down. You can you can stand. This is almost two meters tall. So you can stand here, but if you go back into the hole, there's a toilet. This is this is not as high. This is only about a meter fifty high. You don't need to stand there. You're just gonna sit. You're just gonna sit on the toilet. So the toilet goes here. In your plan, basically the toilet goes here in the middle of the in the middle of, the, of this hole. You go down into the hole. You can stand here, and then you sit into the toilet. And that toilet is underneath the steps and underneath this seat. Uh, keep going. Uh, we don't need this boarding gate. I know this was in some of the drawings that I sent you or some of the pictures. It had it had a boarding space. We don't need that. This is just a flat deck uh, for for fishing space. Um, let me see what else. Like I said, the, the toilet the toilet should go here, and I prefer it on the starboard side too. Okay, let's talk about the shower and the bed. Uh, forget the shower. We can eliminate the shower. We'll do we'll do some kind of fresh water system out here where people can shower outside. That's fine. And then the bed is smaller. I made it a lot smaller. So here you'll see the bed. Um, there is space for it, and, and my hall is not that tall, um, but there is space for it. Uh, in here, it this is about a meter and twenty centimeters long. And this, I don't know how all the space is, but it's it, it doesn't need to be that small. Let me see. Yeah, that's only 65 centimeters tall. So I mean that's okay. That you're not gonna spend that much time there. And that's that's for the fourth sleeping person, and that's also for, for storage or or whatever, because um one person sleeps here, one person sleeps in the bed, and then one person sleeps here and, and the other one here. So you have sleeping space for four people. And if not, we can we can come with some creative solutions for people to sleep elsewhere. The bed is not doesn't have to be big. Um, 
whatever fits in there is fine. Uh, let me see what else we have. Okay, if, if we can really achieve, if we can really achieve the 35 knot cruise with 2300s, that would be ideal. If we need to make the boat smaller in some way in order to do that, that that's fine. Uh, looks good I noticed you used a symmetrical hull with this with this shape so like I said before if you could comment on on this hull and on this shape I would appreciate it I drew what I've been reading uh, more modern um, catamaran hulls are are they're not all of them but they're starting to use um, asymmetrical hulls and also with a more profiled bow so the bow comes in a little and from what I have read, that allows that allows the boat to, when when you're turning, it allows the boat to lean into the turn and not not on the outside of the turn as some cameras do. But that's fine. If you just share information on your hole, on the shape of the hole that you have in mind, and and you can comment on it, that that would greatly appreciate it. Okay, I think that is it. Let me see if I have anything else. If anything else comes to mind, I have included a step here. So that when you are, <clears throat> so that when you're cutting the boat, you have not only the tall seat but also a place to stand where you can see above everyone else and you can see the bow clearly and you can see the ocean up ahead. Uh, this is not this is not super necessary, but it's fine. I included this box here. So the idea of this box is that it can be open from the outside and the inside. So if you're fishing, you need to access something, some of your fishing gear. You can open this box and get it and. You can open it from the inside as well, where you can where you can put stuff in there that you're going to use for for the bow. There's a lot of other details regarding fishing, um, but we don't need to we don't need to go into those right now. Yeah, I think that is it, rule. Um, yeah, for the engines, I just thought we could end the hole here and 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 have have the engines mounted on brackets. Um, I think that's it. I hope this video came out okay. Uh, let, I'm looking forward to the second iteration and to and to seeing some of the performance numbers on the boat. I try I tried calculating the buoyancy of the boat. So up to up to this line right here, I was getting I was getting a four and a half four and a half tons of buoyancy. Uh, if you want me to share this model with you, I could share the model with you as well. So please let me know. I think that it's it. That's it. I hope I hope this was valuable for you and I'm looking forward to the second iteration.